Here I'm going to discuss another very very interesting question from the surface areas of combination of solids. Here I'm going to combine a hemisphere with a cylinder, right? Let me read the question first. A vessel is in the form of hollow hemisphere, right? Hollow hemisphere, keep in mind, mounted by a hollow cylinder. Cylinder is also hollow, all right? Hollow or hollow? Mm, my pronunciation is so bad. Anyways, you understand it. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter. Okay, 14 centimeters is the diameter of hemisphere and the total height of the vessel. Vessel here is representing the combination of both. After combining both, the total height is 13 centimeter. So find the inner surface area of the vessel. Okay, so let's go one by one. So at the very first, we have a hollow hemisphere. So let me make a hemisphere. Does it look like a hemisphere? <laughs> okay. Let's say this is my hemisphere, all right? Just for a while, you suppose it's a hemisphere. And now the question is saying we're going to mount uh, again hollow cylinder over it. All right. So let's make a hollow cylinder over it. So here is our figure and the bottom is made with a hemisphere, hollow hemisphere, keep in mind. All right. And uh, the upper portion is a cylinder. So the th many things are given here. Let me first write all the given things. The diameter of the hemisphere is 14 centimeter. Wow, very cool thing. The diameter is given, uh, this diameter is given 14 centimeter, right? This is 14 centimeter. It means the radius will be how much? Yes, very good. That's 7 centimeter. So if it is completely, uh, I mean, surmounted over it, you know, completely it's mounted over, uh, mounted, mounted, yeah, I mean, one is just hitting by another one. So this seven centimeter will be the radius of the cylinder also definitely because both of them have the you know same diameter you know they are completely attached to each other so seven centimeters so first very good thing what we understand from here that seven centimeter is the radius of the cylinder as well as the seven centimeter is the radius of the hemisphere all right next thing uh, the height of the facial is 13 centimeter wow so the total height of the facial is 13 centimeter from top to the bottom all right Okay, find the inner surface of the vessel. Okay, so we need to find out the inner surface of the uh, inner surface area of the of this vessel. And one more thing is given here. If you see properly, if this is seven centimeter, definitely this will be also seven centimeter. All right, and bottom is hemisphere means this must be seven centimeter. All right. This is seven centimeter. This is seven centimeter. This is seven centimeter because it's hemisphere. And if you if you exactly uh, put one more uh, hemisphere over it, then it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a sphere, you know. So 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 it's it's it will be something like this. It will be something like this. So that time this seven centimeter and this seven centimeter completely will make uh, diameter, and that's actually fourteen centimeter, right? Just like this. So keep in mind. So here I just want to show you that. Uh, this is 7 centimeter, all right? That's it. So if this is 7 centimeter, till from here to here, if this is 7 centimeter, so you can easily guess that the length from here to here, how much will be? This height of the cylinder will be how much? Yes, 13 minus 7. I mean, till here, till here it is, till here it is, uh, till here it is 7 centimeter. So 7, uh, 13 minus 7, it means it will be 13 minus 7, that's 6 centimeter. So this height of the cylinder will be six centimeter. You know, this is the height of the cylinder. So now we know everything to find out the uh, inner area of the vessel. So the inner area of the vessel I can now easily write equals to uh, the curved surface area of this uh, hemisphere, all right? CSA of hemisphere plus the curved surface, uh, curve surface area of this uh, cylinder, you know, because it's hollow here also and here also. So both sides hollow, it means it's just a curved surface area. CSA of cylinder and let's apply the formula I hope you have already learned the all formula of uh, all the solids all right geometrical solids so curve surface area of hemisphere that's 2 pi r square pi r square uh, next next is curve surface area of cylinder curve surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h all right so now here we can take the common 2 pi r and we'll be left with r plus h so let's put the value 2 times pi, that is 22 over 7. And radius is here 7 centimeter. Cool, we can cancel it. Radius is again 7. And the height, okay. So the height of the cylinder is here 6 centimeter, all right. This 7 and this 7 will cancel up. 
and 2 times 22 that's 44 and 7 plus 6 that's 13 so 44 times 13 I'm weak in mathematics let me multiply it with calculator all right 572 it's 572 centimeter square so this is the area of the vessel that we need you know the inner inner uh, surface area of the vessel that's 572 centimeters square so just you need to understand the question first properly all right every time you know whenever you get the menstruation question you first understand the question and you must pictureize that you must draw the diagram of that all right once you do that now it will you'll see very easy you know and just you apply something more trick or a very simple you just apply the formula after that you know so just three basic thing is here to to solve any kind of menstruation problem first understand the question understand the question second step pictureize the problem all right and the third apply the appropriate formula and get the value that's it all right i hope you understand it and if there is any more confusion in this question or anything then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely get back to you See you in the next video guys. Bye-bye. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Alright, bye-bye.